my channel. Um, if you guys, you you know, you already read the title, so you know, so get ready with me. If you guys want to see how I got this super simple but super beat makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, y'all, so let's start off get all into the skin now that we did those baby hairs waves whatever okay all right <laughs> sorry okay let me moisturize oh you know what actually i want to start off with my brows so i'm gonna be using the morphe pomade in the shade latte i'm gonna be using my anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush and I just got my eyes threaded today so this should be super easy to fill them out I'm just gonna do something real light I should do them off camera because y'all know I can't I cannot do my brows on camera like I have to focus To clean up my brows, I guess I'm going to use this concealer. I really don't like using the... I love this concealer, the Born This Way. I'm so glad I picked it up. But I don't like it for cleaning up my brows because it's so full coverage and thick. It's just a little too thick for my brows. Let me see if I have something else. Y'all, I'm the worst person to go out with, like, oh my god. I'm trying to hurry up and get ready. I, what was that? Oh my god. Oh, that was just the top. Okay. I hate, like, rushing to go out. Like, oh my god. It takes me a long time to go out. I mean, it takes me a long time to get ready, but luckily I don't have to do my hair. I just have, um, luckily I don't, I just have to do my makeup. So, I'm going to hurry up. I'm going to try and hurry up. And where is my moisturizer? So, I'm going to moisturize my skin. I'm going to use the Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream. This is the only cream that I use on my face, like, ever. And I am going to use a little primer, too. Where is my brush? I thought I had a brush. I had a brush for this, y'all. Where is it? Because I actually don't want to touch my face. Where is that book? Oh, okay. So I have the brush that is made for this primer, and I really just focus the primer here. Oh, I meant to. Y'all, I meant to shave my mustache. Hold on. Forgot. And I want to focus it here because this is just where I have texture. So wherever I have texture. Is where I do that primer. Let me find my razor so I can shave my uh stash real quick. Like really minimal hair there, but the hair that I do get there, it's it grows black, so it's very noticeable. So I just like to shave it off. I honestly might get that shit lasered off. It's that serious. So I'm just. Oh, do not forget your neck. So, just blend it in that primer and that moisturizer. Oh my God, I love my skin right now, y'all. I'm so pissed I'm putting makeup on it. Going with the foundation. Like I said, I'm using the All Day Luminous, of course, by NARS. You probably won't ever see me use another foundation on this channel. I'm the type of person that if something works for me that's just what i'm using because i've just tried so many foundations and they just don't work or not that they don't work but they just don't do what this foundation does for me well you know what i lied another good foundation that i used in the past 
uh what's it called it's maybelline it's like the real full coverage one with the white top that one is really good they just do not have my shade i remember i used that and y'all that shit is full coverage like when they said full coverage they they weren't playing like it's full coverage let me just do my whole lip because i look crazy okay better <laughs> But yeah, it's super full, full coverage, that foundation. And it actually worked really good for me. And it's matte as well. I didn't have to set my face. I used to just put that on and go about my business. <clears throat> so yeah, that foundation is really good. And then, uh, what else? I guess that's it. That was the only other foundation I can think of that worked for me that didn't have like no bad side effects or anything like that. I don't know if I'm gonna wear. Why does it look like that? Okay. Uh, I really. So I'm gonna use Huda Beauty for the powder. Let me make sure everything's just blended in. I hate how bad my um, eyelids crease. They crease so bad, y'all. Oh my God. Okay. Let me just make sure. I do not want to look like I have a mask, like for, for real. I can clean my earrings off. Yeah, I figured. Okay. So this is what our base is looking like. This is what our base looking like. Okay, look crazy right now, but it's gonna come together. So I got something new from Sephora. If y'all watched my vlog, I talked about, I don't know if I did talk about it in the vlog or not, but I got something new from Sephora. Ignore that. So I was watching MUA Nessa's video and she was using, uh, she was talking about this, the Fenty Beauty Foundation Powder. She was saying that um, you know, like Studio Fix, how if you put a lot, it gets cakey or whatever. She was saying with this one, it does not. So I wanted to try it. I I love Fenty. I love everything by Fenty. I'm so sad I like got on Fenty like so late. Like, ugh. So I got the shade 290. I tried it on in store and it looks light in the pan. But when you put it on the skin, it was like my skin tone. So we'll see. Uh, what brush can I use? Y'all, I do not clean my brushes. I just buy new ones, and that is so bad. Because <laughs> the brush I want to use is dirty. Uh, where's the new brushes I bought? Hold on, y'all. Yeah, because I'm going to use these now. What brush can I use to... I guess I can use this brush. So I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush that I showed y'all in the vlog. Today's the same day, so that's why I just keep going back to that. But yeah, bought this from five and below. So we're just going to go ahead and use this. Uh-uh. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, this is going to be really good for bronzer because it's like this. Not really good for that. Um, but yeah. I'm going to dust off the excess powder. And what I would normally do is just... um. Take my foundation powder and wipe it off. Wipe off the excess. And now I'm gonna go dip, dip into it. Let me see how it looks. Hopefully it's not crazy. So let's see. 
because I have the Studio Fix and I love it, but like uh, MUA Nessa was saying in her video, if you use a lot of that powder, it gets cakey real fast. So let me see. Mm. Okay, I think it's a good shade. Yeah, I think this is a good shade for me. But I don't like this applying it with this brush. I can tell you that now. Yeah. This brush is not it to apply this with. I need another brush because this ain't it. I'm going to use this Japanese brush. And I got this from TJ Maxx. I'm pretty sure. TJ Maxx or Marshalls has I'm pretty sure. But I haven't been seeing them lately. Like, I think people got on and started buying them up. Like, ugh, so annoying. This already has a powder on it, but shit, I cannot find a, I cannot find a clean brush, but this had my micro smooth. If I wasn't using this, I would, oh yeah, so um, before, so yeah, like she was saying, the, uh, what do you call it? What? I cannot think right now, y'all. I'm going crazy. The, um. why can't i think the um studio fix yeah like she was saying the studio fix gets real cakey if you use um too much and she was saying this doesn't oh my god oh yeah this powder is definitely doing it for me and this is a good shade i'm glad i got this shade so yeah Fenty Beauty, and did I mention I'm in the shade 290 in this powder? The shades uh, that you would usually wear with the foundation do not match these because I'm like 330 in the concealer, I think, or the foundation. I'm in the 300s in the foundation, I believe. And then in this, I'm in the twos. I'm 290 because the powders were dark. I was like, we were testing them in the store and I'm like, are you sure? You know, them people don't be knowing what they're talking about sometimes. So I was like, are you sure that's too dark for me? And she showed me, I was like, oh yeah, that is too dark. And this was the perfect shade and I'm doing my makeup and this is definitely, is my shade. So I'm glad I found this. I think this is my new face powder, y'all. Oh my God. Like I'm loving how this looks. Make sure to get it. Yeah, this is definitely my new face powder. And I don't see it getting cakey at all. And I'm, oh my God, y'all, this like has my face looking real nice. I'm gonna tap some of this like where this is. That's enough of that. Now we can go ahead and move on to bronzer. And I'm going to use that Real Techniques brush again. And I'm going to use my Fenty bronzer. So I'm going to use a clean one. And I'm using Bajan Gal. So yeah, I'm using that. Ooh, she's bronze. So I'm gonna dip into this. Let's see how this looks with this brush. I've bought in so many uh, new bronzers lately, but this one just does it for me. So let me see, I don't like that spot right there. Hold on. Me too. Okay, all right. <laughs> So let's see, is it going to pick up? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's picking up. If not, I bought this from Five and Below too. I think I used this in my last tutorial. This is a real good bronzer brush. It's by Wet n Wild and I bought it from Five and Below. Five and Below be having shit, y'all. Like, It's 
eh, I think I'm gonna go to that wet and wild brush because that brush is like real loose. I need something a little more dense because it's like not applying mm -hmm. how I want. Y'all, Fenty just does it for me. Like, these, her makeup line is, like, really top tier. And I'm so, like, mad that I got on it real late. Because the only thing I what really stopped me from, like, like getting her other products, to what products was I tried the foundation first. And I just, I don't like matte foundation. So, you know, that's the thing. Like I told y'all, I've just been using the same foundation for two years. And... What works for me works for me. So I just felt like, you know, I didn't think the rest of her stuff would probably, you know, be good. You know, I thought everybody was saying, you know, it's good because it's Rihanna. You know what I mean? But no, her her products are definitely good. Like the foundation powder, that is amazing. I'm not going to lie. It's better than Studio Fix to me. Like I put, y'all saw I was putting a lot on and my face is not cakey like whatsoever. Like, no. That powder is real good. And the bronzer is real good with it. made me buy her bronzer when I was getting my makeup done. The makeup artist that does my makeup, she always used Fenty on me. And I loved how it looked. So I went and bought it. And yeah, I love it. Literally in love with this bronzer. This is the only bronzer I've been... I want to get the other shades too because I know I can work with those other shades. Because she, the girl that does my makeup, she used two different shades on me. So I know I can, you know, work with the other shades too. Yes. And where is... I want to go ahead and contour my nose now, but I'm not going to use that bronzy shade. Where is it? Hold on. Okay, for my nose, I'm going to take the NARS Laguna bronzer because the Fenty shade is just a little too dark. I mean, not dark, but too bronzy for the nose. I just don't like how that looks. I don't like bronzy shades on the nose. It just, it doesn't look nice to me. So <sighs> Laguna is more cool tone. It's brown. It's more cool tone. Uh, Bajin Gal is like bronzy in red so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply this and laguna is gonna give give me that because it's cool tone it's gonna give that illusion of a smaller nose rather than the bronzy shade it's just gonna like see how it like kind of contoured my nose because it's cool tone and i'm just gonna put it under mm -hmm. like yeah definitely did what it's supposed to do And that's it y'all see i'm gonna clean it up with um some clean it up with some setting powder okay nose <laughs> a cute little button nose that easy y'all what am i gonna do now oh blush why don't i have any blush out that's weird Ugh, I'm gonna have to put this back. That looks messed up, but I'll fix it. Blush I'm going to use today is Luminoso by Milani. Blush brush, real techniques. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Dip 
Okay. Okay, tap that and add some blush. And I like to add blush on my nose because that's super cute. Okay, and I think we're damn near done with the face. I think I'm just going to get a shade real quick to... I think I'm going to do a quick transition shade. What can I use for a transition shade real quick? I don't want to use Luminosa. I'm going to gra grab my Morphe palette real quick and just grab this shade right here. Clearly, it's the only shade I use. I'm just going to run something in my crease real quick. And I'm using my Morphe M454 brush. I love, love, love this brush. So I'm going to just run something in my crease really quick just to have something on the eye. And literally all I'm doing is just brushing it into my crease. So it looks like, you know, I did something. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm going to take the same shade. I'm going to use this small Sonia Kashuk. Just a small detail brush and run it under my eye. Same shade, just running it under my eye. Mm. Love how that looks. It'd be the small details that like really like, you know, bring out the look. Ooh. Got a little fallout, but that's okay, because we can fix that. I'm gonna take this breath. Yep, gone, let me see. Y'all, I'd be like, I'm getting ready to go and I'm still sitting here. Anyways, let me put some eyeliner on. Eyeliner Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. This one, Ulta, only eyeliner I use. Ooh, it's so good. And y'all know how to put eyeliner on, like. <laughs> when I go to Ulta, I'm buying a couple more of these because, y'all, look what it did, like. Okay. Okay, smoky eye. And L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Honestly, the only mascara. I've been using mascara for like years. Since high school days, y'all. Oops, actually don't want to do that yet. Ah, forgot to set my face. Cork, y'all. I don't even know why I'm sitting up here playing. I'm doing cork. <laughs> so I'm going to line my lips with cork. Actually, let me set my face right now. So I'm going to take the Mario Best School to set my face. There it is. Light skin, y'all. Just light skin. And we're gonna add some highlight. Highlighter, Laura Geller Sunbeam. And I'm gonna take a Morphe brush to apply it. Where did I put that brush right here? While my skin is wet, I'm just gonna apply it to the nose, tip of my nose, bridge of my nose. Like y'all already know. <laughs> Cupid's bow. In our corner, can you see it in there in the corner? I think I'm gonna add some to the brow bone. Let me not overdo it, y'all. I'm doing too much because I don't do that. 
So that's that. I'm gonna spray my face down one more time. Whew. She melts it down, y'all. Like, plays no games. So let's go ahead and line the lips. Where is cork? I'm gonna use cork to line my lips. Now, I'm gonna take a super light lipstick. I'm going to take Morphe. Of course, it's over there. Huh. I'll take Morphe in the shade Boo. Okay, I need them a little lighter. So we're gonna add a gloss. I have this Morphe gloss. Let me see if this will do it. Is it light? Can't tell. It's damn near like the same shade. Mm -mm. We need to go lighter, y'all. A little too dark for me, so I'm going to do NYX. I love smelling these. Fortune cookie. Yep. That's going to give us what I'm looking for. Uh-huh, yeah. Exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. That is the lips. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. For the lips. Okay, y'all, that is the Is there anything else I want to do? I don't know if I want to add a mole or not. I think I'm going to add a mole. Fuck it. This is Precision Liquid Liner. I'm gonna go ahead and add my little beauty mark. I think I'm gonna add it. Should I add it right there? Right here. I don't be knowing where I wanna add my beauty mark. Like, I'm, ugh, I always forget where it looks right at. Where should I add it there? Ugh, something's telling me add it right here. I don't know. Ugh, I hate y'all. I never know where to add it and I always forget where it looks right at. Like something's telling me do right there. Let me see. That's it. I think I'm gonna add one right there too. I'm gonna just leave my face alone. But yeah, that's it. So yeah, y'all, this is the look. Just a simple beat, a simple little beat. Okay, baby hairs. Okay, y'all, I did a good job. I did a good job on them. Oh, something. So this is the look, y'all. Do y'all like it or? <laughs> so yeah, this is the final look, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to go out tonight, enjoy myself, enjoy my weekend. Today is Friday. I'm going out. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. This is the look. Super, super simple, super beat, super cute. The lashes are literally giving right now. Like, okay, lashes. Okay, new lip okay y'all so this is the end let me stop let me let me stop okay this is the end of the um get ready with me hope you guys enjoy getting ready with me i hope you guys enjoy this makeup look mm, excuse me yes yeah, time to go y'all <laughs> um thank you all so much for watching and do not forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye